Diana, the big day, Tuesday, Governor Christie, his seventh annual State of the State. What do you got? That's right, Bill. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is back on the job. And on Tuesday, he'll deliver his final state of the state address at a time when his approval ratings are at an all time low in the state. New Jersey has one of the biggest underfunded public pension liabilities in the country. The state's credit rating has been downgraded 10 times during Christie's tenure. And New Jersey still tops the list of states losing residents. Uh, so with all that being said, it's not hard to see why we're looking ahead to the 2017 gubernatorial race. Here in studio we have State Senator Ray Lesniak and we also have State Assemblyman John Wisniewski. So thank you for joining us and let's start off. What do you hope Governor Christie talks about in a State of the State address? Um, I'd like him to say how he plans on turning this state around and making it affordable because for many New Jersey residents it's not. Um, unfortunately I don't think he'll address any of those but if he did would certainly support him on those issues. John, you and Ray, we asked you to come here as a pre-buttle. A pre-buttle. A pre-buttle, that's what we're calling this. What do you expect to hear? What do you not expect to hear? Well, I expect to hear the governor justify his lack of accomplishments over seven years, as he has absolutely not fulfilled any of the promises he made when he first ran for office. Ten uh, bond downgrades, uh, an unfunded pension liability that he has still not lived up to the terms of his own deal that he promised to fulfill when he ran for office four years ago. Let me ask both of you a question. You're both in the legislature. Uh, we've got, as you heard, the, 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 uh, the 10 downgrades. We've got debt, $85 billion in debt. We've got roads that we can't fix. Is it fair for both of you from the Senate and the sure. Assembly to blame Governor Christie? How long have you guys been in power? I mean, right sure. in both houses, Democrats well, have been in charge since what, 2001? I think that's why uh, John and I are running for governor, because legislators why? can't make the restructuring and reform of government that's necessary to make this state affordable. We have to have a controller of education to rein in all the wasteful spending that doesn't get into the classroom. Legislators we, can't yeah, do but that. Didn't we both have the majority when John Corzine was governor? Yeah, we yeah. did. We what did. happened? But, 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 again, again, worse. But, Bill, but here's the problem. We, we rewrote our constitution in 1947 because we had a remarkably weak governor before then, and we made a remarkably powerful governor. And so the legislature has very little power. Think about it. When we do the budget, he gets to tell us how much money we get to spend, and then he gets the line item veto at the end of it. That makes it a one-sided discussion. I think Governor Christie was well-intentioned at the beginning of his term when he was trying to get pension reform in working with Senate President Sweeney and trying to get both Democrats and Republicans at the table to deal with the pension problem. But he failed, and he was governor. So how would well, you guys well, do it differently? I think the one thing that you have to remember is that when he took office, the day he was sworn in for his first term, he was running for president. Right. And so everything he did was not about what was good for New Jersey. It was about what can I sell in Iowa and New Hampshire and places in between. Ray, if you're uh, governor, yes. do you repeal the gas tax? No, it can't repeal the gas tax. That's impossible. However, what you can't... Why? Because our roads would not be fixed at all. There would be no infrastructure work done at but what, all. But, but, but hold what on. about what you and I talked about, though, in terms of the, the fact that the money's not even going to the roads? Exactly. The fact that you got all this borrowing exactly. going on. Exactly. Light right. rail, yep. pensions. Yep. So, that, so what you have to do is change that law. You have to, for, first of all, we would have phased it in over a longer period of time. You agree, we John? You wouldn't have gone for the 23 earlier. cents? I think we could have phased it in, but here's the problem. Yeah. The whole bill was a mess because we gave away $1.2 billion a year in revenue that we didn't have any ability to plan where it was going to come from. And so we shortchanged the budget for decades to come, education, pensions, you name it. We gave away a billion dollars a year so we could get a gas tax because the governor wouldn't sign it. So how soon after, if either of you are sworn in as governor in 2018, do you announce you're running for president? <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen. Well, well, no? Not wait, 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 wait. Not so fast. <laughs> How old is Donald Trump? 73 years old, right? <laughs> and I'm right. in a lot better shape than he is. There you got it. All right, guys. Hey, thank you. All Good right, luck. Well, thank you. Ray, appreciate it. John, appreciate it. Thank you. So I need you guys to shake hands. Oh, easy. And then come out fighting. Yeah. Uh, all right, he's my buddy. There we go. All right, John. All right. <laughs> there we go.